So the title of this post is when I was 15, my mom demanded access to my Facebook account to write this post about herself. Thank you, mom, for all you do for me. You have and always will be the most important person to us. Today, I appreciate you more now than ever, and we are so lucky to have you for a mom. You mean more to us than you'll ever know, and you're all we will ever need by our side. We love you so much. Hold your head high because you are our hero. How can you even feel good about doing this? Like, that's just depressing, man. You're, are you just pretending so everybody else thinks you guys have, like, a normal relationship? Or what's happening here? What's up, boys? You know, everybody's gotten their Xbox or their PlayStation or their phone taken before. You know, in those moments, you might be like, God, my dad is just insane. Have your parents ever sent you, like, four different long, hateful paragraphs because you forgot to make them a smoothie? Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going back to the subreddit r slash insane parents and just checking out, well, you know, insane parents. I know you guys got some insane ones too, so please tell me in the comment section because out of all of the stories I asked for in my comments, these are always the craziest. I don't know what's wrong with your guys' parents, but man, they are off the wall. Anyway, with that being said, enjoy the video, boys. Should I spank my child? A comprehensive flowchart. Are they old enough to understand reason? If yes, then use reason and stop hitting your child, asshole. If no, then they're not old enough to understand the reason you're striking them, so stop hitting your child, asshole. What a superficial view, lol. If it was that easy, no reasonable person would hit their child. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, you're reasonable, then you're not going to be hitting your child. So, I mean, you kind of got it, I guess. I'm home. Where's my package? Blank's got it. Okay, did you open it? No, did you want me to? It was open when I got it. Not me. Can you ask Blank? He left. Don't worry. I just spoke to him. He put it on the table and didn't open it either. Did Blank get to it? I'm slightly concerned that you don't want us to see what you are ordering, though. Neither of us opened it. It shouldn't be a big deal if we do. I'm not saying it is a big deal. I was just wondering who opened it. Yeah, he literally says, don't worry. Like, he's like, all right, you know what? Whatever. It's not a big deal, I guess. And then his mom was like, oh, yeah? Well, why, why, why don't you want to see what you're ordering? What are you ordering? That's so... It shouldn't be a big deal if uh, somebody opened it, which I did not. I would never do that. But even if I did, which I didn't, <laughs> it shouldn't be that big of a deal. You are grounded. You will not be going on Sunday to that movie. It's turned in. Ask teacher. I'm looking at the portal right now. Well, she hasn't put it in yet. I can't do anything about it. I gave it to her. It's definitely turned in. You better figure it out. It's already figured out. She has it. You better ask. Don't know what to tell you. Figure it out. I gave it to her. I can't do anything about it. I don't need to ask because she said she would grade it soon. You only see the portal. You don't know what happens in class. If you want, you can email teacher because I did it and turn it in. Okay. Do these parents just like trust this random website? If I was a parent and my kid was telling me he turned something in and it was showing that it, it wasn't turned in, maybe like first believe the kid and then if my teacher tells me he didn't turn it in, then I would be like, okay, I got off the one that caused me the issues, which was Discord. Get off Instagram. I want you to delete it. Find another way to communicate with your friends. I can't. All I do on Instagram is talk to blank and watch reels. That's literally it. And there's no way I'm downloading TikTok. The algorithm is made to target young people and make them question themselves. Huh? Yeah. You don't realize it because you've been a part of it for so long. Why are so many parents like tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists about literally everything? Sometimes the algorithm just wants to show you videos of cats doing silly things. What are you guys talking about, man? Louis had a minor stroke. Not happy that anyone has that, but he's okay. Music to my ears. Oh man, I thought you said major. Stop. Karma, we don't want that. Him having the stroke was karma. I guess you forgot he screamed outside. He hoped I get- Oh, wow. He can rot in hell. I remember. Yeah, so, by the way, that guy that said that to you, uh, he had a stroke, but he's fine. So don't worry, okay? In case you were worried about that guy dying, um, he's fine. Please stop brainwashing blank with your LGBT crap. I will kill myself if my second child becomes gay. Your bad choices make the same terrible impact on me as my divorce. If you will go back to NJ before graduating, you will be working in Starbucks for the rest of your life because you will have an excuse that tuition is not affordable. Smoke pot and live with the same loser's roommates. Good grief. I'm moving out in six months. Can you be civil until then? After I move out, you won't have to hear from your failure of a child again. So just just relax until then. And anyway, I'm going to visit Tampa alone, so don't worry about taking a day off, saving you time. That is a crazy thing to say, first of all. I will kill myself if my second child becomes gay. Oh my god, dude. Jesus. It's like, so funny how all of these people, for the contact names of their parents, they'll have like three dots, barf emoji, last guy I think had like wanker or something. As they will have literally everything except for just mom or dad or whoever, man. I dare you to listen to this. 
I bet you won't be brave. Actually, listen. If stars and stripes offend you, you can kiss my ass. Do you want to actually listen because you're scared? You can't be scared all your life. Don't be scared. We the people stand with you. You know in your heart what's right. I don't care. It's Pokemon hours, but stop shoving your opinion down my throat. Never. What kind of child thinks their parents' opinion doesn't matter? You know better than me. The one who was kicked in the balls by their mom, the one who had their door kicked open, the one who could go all day about this shit. You have not been through shit. Wait until life kicks you in the balls, then you will run to me for advice. You have not been through anything. Do you understand? I'd go postal before I ever took your advice seriously. Has yet to kick your ass, son. Stop talking to me, let me rest and play postal too. Is that right? Go live with your daddy, Juan. You can't come back here. You have no home here. Seriously, go live with one. Seriously, Juan. <laughs> this is honestly what I imagine the average Tom McDonald fan to be like. You go to any of his videos, which I don't know if you guys know who Tom McDonald is, but he basically just makes a bunch of like conservative rap. If you go to his comments, it's just a bunch of like 45 year old white people being like, yes, I'm so glad somebody finally had the courage to say what we've all been <laughs> thinking. Man. Rap music is just for thugs. Now I can get behind this. <laughs> I guess when you told me you were trying to be more responsible regarding sleep, it was BS. What are you talking about? Do you even work at blank anymore? Yeah, but I'm going with grandma and grandpa tomorrow. They're taking me to the job thing tomorrow again. My friend was trying to commit blank, so I stayed up to make sure they're okay. You ever think of hostage negotiations as a career choice? Why are you being mean to me at three in the morning? I haven't done anything wrong. Oh yes, I'm so mean. Why are you upset with me? They shouldn't have to take you to an employment center in the first place. Why? So now grandma and grandpa have to drive you to an employment center? They're the ones who found it and offered to take me. I'm very thankful for them helping me. This guy just woke up at three in the morning, probably like really had to drink water or something and just didn't have any around him. So he was like miserable. He decided he needed to take it out on somebody and you were just the closest one because you were up trying to prevent your friend from, you know, nope. I'm just tired of being expected to do shit for people that forget what I asked them to do or refuse to help the household they live in to run a little smoother. I don't want to. And I I forgot. Doesn't work for me. Leave me alone. I will. But I don't think you want that. When I was your age, I was married. 14 hours from home. Taking care of my own home and husband. I wasn't forgetting or refusing to help in the household that supported me. Leave me alone. You know kids that are homeless. They would probably love to have a free roof over their heads. You should ask them. Leave me alone. Okay, take care of yourself then. You guys are not going to believe what this post is about. Okay, what is she so mad about him forgetting you may be wondering. Um, it's a smoothie. She wanted him to make her a smoothie and he forgot. <laughs> and she got this angry about it. She must have really wanted that smoothie. Maybe man. she like told him in the morning like, hey, you know, I'm gonna be at work all day. Can you please just make me a smoothie for when I come back? And she spent the whole day at work. God, I can't wait to go home and have that smoothie. And then she got home and her son was like playing Fortnite. She was like, hey, uh, where's my smoothie? And he was like, oh, sorry, I forgot. And then it sent her into a screaming, angry rage. Currently glowing yellow in the city. Government! <laughs> Such an awesome screenshot. What does he mean by that? Government? That, that, that's what these people just are at now. They just see something that's not 100% normal, and they immediately are like, Oh! Government! Government! Right there! Government! I'm not even kidding. I saw people trying to say that the smog and stuff in Michigan and everything right now where I live is actually poison. If you guys don't see a video from me next week, I collapsed on the floor and died. My promise to my children, as long as I live, I am your parent first, your friend second. I will stalk you, flip out on you, lecture you, drive you insane, be your worst nightmare, and hunt you down like a bloodhound when needed because I love you. When you understand that, I will know you are a responsible adult. You will never find someone who loves, prays, cares, and worries about you more than I do. If you don't hate me once in your life, I am not doing my job properly. Repost if you are a parent and agree. That's just like a perfect list of insane parents. I hate when parents do this thing where like they're they, super abusive and overprotective and like overbearing and then they like write it off as like love. If you really loved your kid, you would trust them and let them do things on their own and let them be their own person. It was right on there on everything in the little white tray on the dresser behind the TV. You want your debit card or you already ordered one? I want it. Okay, just text me when you're on your way. I'll put it in the mailbox. Are you gonna let me come get the rest of my stuff at some point? Okay. Nah, you can't come back in here. Me and your brother did without today. You can do without period. 
Okay, but that's my stuff though. So this was my house when you disrespected it. This is like illegal, you know? You can't just you can't just take your your kids stuff. Why do some people think just because their kids are their kids that therefore they own everything that their kid also owns? Like if I buy something with my money, then it's mine. It's not also my parents. It's just mine. <laughs> Stop looking for reasons. I don't want you on Reddit. Manipulate what? Better contrast. Thank you. I know you're trying to do the right thing. I know you don't. I don't care about Reddit that much. I just want you to respect my decisions and my own self-identity. I'm trying, but it's not easy for me. But I love you. I don't want you to lie to me. You keep saying I was trans, implying you know me better than I know myself. You are someone who is easily led by others. You don't fit in. You are looking for an identity. You are autistic. These are the reasons I am worried. I know who I am. I now have the words for it now, and I am 100% sure they apply to me and have been for years. Autism doesn't make me more likely to be trans because of manipulation. It just makes me more likely to not care about all the social conventions that tell me gender nonconformity is a bad thing. The way you responded to that was like kind of perfect. Kind of killed that. I'm going to be honest. And apparently she agreed because uh, she liked the message at the end there. So I don't know. Maybe you won her over after that. Like, all right. You know what? I can understand that and I respect you now and I support trans people. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Insane Parents. Hopefully you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DomSoEpic. I will see you guys later. Peace, peace.